This is a three quarter inch, 13 foot length manila rope. We'll zoom in. It's rather thick and rather nice. It's very rigid. There was very few coils. I just got done doing a whole roll of it. 600 feet. Trust me, my hands are red. Now, I originally was going to make it with upwards of 10 to 13 coils, but traditionally a hangman's noose was made with a 13 foot length of rope, but 5 to 13 coils. And this is what a this is what it would look like. I didn't even loosen it up. This is what it would look like with, I think it's like 10 coils, 10 or 11 coils there. It's not going to give you that much hang. And it's really worthless to have that many coils. The reason they would have that many coils is they were hanging a fat person. <laughs> Tell you the truth. If they were hanging a real fat person, they would need more coils up at the, uh, up the top to support the weight. When people were getting hung, they weren't that big. So they only, they only need five or six. So I'm going with like five or six. Some may have like four, four and a half. Um, but that's sufficient. It's sufficient. My coils are very tight. As you will see now. Here is my product. This is a 13 foot length. That is the entire rope. Including the coil. But that is not the length what you see here. Um, there's a good length off of there. They didn't hang people from long distances. Uh, but this is 13 feet of rope. Three quarter inch. Very thick. Very rigid. I'm telling you. I'm not even going to be able to do this. But this is heavy. This whole thing right here is going to weigh one pound, seven ounces. This will knock you out. This will knock you out. This is traditionally placed behind the uh, left ear to snap the neck. That is what the knot is for, is to snap the neck. Hollywood sometimes gets carried away with the 13 coils, but trust me, coils don't help you at all. It's just to snap the neck. This is very uh, rigid and it's very tight. These are sold dry. Traditionally split speaking, uh, nooses were soaped up. One particular Irishman in history, he put ringlets in there. You will hear that in Irish folk songs. Uh, but uh, there are no ringlets in here. This is very dry. Do not play around with this. It will not cinch, you know, very easily. But it will cinch in place. I kept it very tight to keep the integrity of the noose intact. This is a very strong noose. It's a very strong rope. Keep in mind, if you keep it outside all the time, it will eventually deteriorate. It is natural fibers. It does have some oil treated on it, but eventually the oil dries out, and then the uh, noose is subject to uh, decomposition. But carrying on my little noose escapade, we'll go zooming over here to Elsa. Now she's my test testee. Now she is sporting a, I uh, think this was half inch um, manila. It was nice and it's still holding up. This has been out there, out here for a year or so, including the worst winter in the history of the Northeast. <laughs> so uh, she has survived it. I was gonna look at her too. She's a typical uh, blow mold skeleton. I did paint her, and she's lost a little paint there, with um, some Krylon. I'd recommend that if you're hanging skeletons. Uh, one of these nooses is plenty enough to hold her. You know, if you put too much pressure on her head, it will pull it off. Her head does fall off. Uh, I just have that up there. It's, it's, and it will, you need to tape off the ends or whatever. They, they will do that if there's too much on the end. 
but something like this does not require a real heavy noose. If you want to hang something heavier, like a Bucky Skeleton, I would use one of these. A Bucky Skeleton I think weighs 28 pounds. Uh, there might be some other props you want to hang that are heavier. I would not put it in a place where it could potentially fall if you don't tie it tight enough or the noose comes uncoiled or some sort of thing like that. I just wouldn't do that. But there it is. As you can see, that is the length of rope you are getting. And these are most tedious on the hands. You can you can you can plainly see my hands are red. Why are they red? Because I just did this. <laughs> That's about 40. There's two more in the house. I think I made four. I kept one length here. I made about uh, 40, I think 40, uh, 40, uh, one, I believe. Basically looking at 40 right now. It's, 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 uh, hot on the hands. <laughs> but these are nice quality, uh, nooses.